What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of Zen Dude Fitness? Welcome to the Jump Rope Samurai Series. And the Jump Rope Samurai Series is a leg up from the Ninja Series where we taught you the basics of how to look more fluid and have more confidence when you're jumping rope. This series is a compilation to help you improve your footwork, which is something the community has been asking about a lot. And it's just another step in the process to becoming that pro jump roper that I know each and every one of you can be. In today's video, we're going to be covering the basic footwork moves that are involved with jumping rope, and those are front straddle, side straddle, feet front to back, feet side to side, and diagonal straddle. Send you fitness, revolution, jump rope, let's do this! Alright ladies and gentlemen, to get things started, feet side to side, feet side to side. So as you'll see here, my upper body in all of these tricks is basically staying the same as it would for regular bounce. My elbows are in, my hands are jutting out to the sides of my hips, my elbows are almost bent at 90 degree angles. And notice how my feet are coming slightly further than shoulder width apart, but you're not taking really big steps out because you don't want to mess up your swing because the rope's probably going to hit your feet. So the name of the game here is basically you're just doing regular bounce except there's a little bit of a toe separation. Now, one thing I will mention here as you can see is my regular bounce form will stay exactly the same throughout each one of these moves and I think that's super important because the moves themselves aren't really hard. Um, you just need to practice um, that regular bounce form and then you're only moving your feet a little bit more for each one. As you can see here for feet front to back, very small steps. All we're doing is shifting the feet Look at my feet, they're not even coming two inches off the ground. They're probably coming about an inch, an inch and a half at the most. Um, and all I'm doing is shifting my feet about six inches up and back. A lot of mistake I see a lot of people making is trying to do too much and over exaggerating uh, their steps. All of these are gonna be just short little steps um, that you can work into each of the moves, work into your workouts, you know, make you look cooler, but also at the same time, improve your footwork and agility if you're, especially if you're an athlete. Good, next one up guys is side straddle. Now the feet are staying together and what we're doing is hopping over an imaginary line. Again, I just want to emphasize my knees are slightly bent and I'm staying up on my toes, but it's a very subtle movement. I'm just going back and forth. You see that line right there? Or pretend, sorry, there's an imaginary line. And I'm just hopping maybe two inches over back and forth. So in all honesty guys, these moves make you look like you know a lot more about jump rope, um, but they're not that much different than regular bounce. It's just a matter of practicing your footwork for an, a long period of time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, same thing for front straddle. The feet are staying together, but we're hopping forwards and backwards over the imaginary line. And again, look at my toes. I'm up on my toes, knees are slightly bent. Check out my arms. They're at those perfect 90 degree angles and my wrists are going forward and backwards controlling everything. Now here I get into a little bit longer or more exaggerated of a front straddle and that's fine. Um, but again, guys, the name of the game is short, subtle steps. And you can also change up the speed as you'll see here in a second. Um, I can speed up, I can slow down, and that's the nice thing about um, doing a lot of these moves is you can go at whatever pace you feel is comfortable for yourself. The last one and probably the most challenging is diagonal straddle. Diagonal straddle, the feet are coming together and then going diagonally out. So what I can tell you guys is pretend that you're standing in the middle of a square. When your feet are together, you're in the middle of the square and all you're doing is tapping the opposite corners with your feet. So when I, you see my feet come together, then they come out and tap the corners and you're just alternating those corners in which you're tapping. I uh, hope, hope that makes sense, guys. Um, great work today, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we're gonna up the footwork, the footwork tricks a little bit. Um, so you're gonna be learning some more advanced stuff. Be sure to comment below, ask questions, subscribe to the channel to get more of these. We love you, Zendude Nation. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe, plus give us a like on this video by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for tuning in. It is your Jump Rope dudes, Dan and Brandon. Catch you on the next video in this series.
live and die in LA. That's what I'm talking about. And click this, and click this, and click this. Um, just from...